EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchage here with your outlook for June 26th, 2019. Before I get to the forecast, I wanted to start this off with uh, letting everybody know that the EPA WA mobile app, EPA WA On The Go, is now available for all, uh, all iPhones and uh, Android devices in both the Google Play and uh, the Apple Store for download. It is a free download. It is just the, everything we have on the website is just there on your, at your fingertips and a lot more easily accessible. The big thing with that uh, is that you now can receive push notifications from us. So when we, need, when we have uh, something we have critical that needs to go out, like uh, maybe severe warnings or uh, a snow map that everybody's waiting, at, waiting for Facebook, keep refreshing to see when we uh, release the maps, you no longer have to do that. We're going to send you a message through a push notification through the app that says it's available. It'll be available immediately. You don't have to worry about Facebook limiting the reach or not reaching you or whatever the case may be that they do with their algorithms. Uh, this is now immediate, and it comes right to you. You get a notification right to your app. You can click on it. It goes right to what you need to uh, what you need to see. So, uh, it is a free app, free to download, free to use. It does contain ads, but that's part of how we pay for the app. And uh, we just did this for not really making money, just so much as it is to uh, you know make it more ease ease of access to all of our fans. So, uh, all you have to do is go to our homepage, epawaweather.com, uh, and you can go there direct with backslash app. Very simple, right? Or you just go on the homepage. It's right there. There's a banner. You can click on that. It'll take you right to the page to download on either an iOS device or uh, or on Android. So let's get into the forecast now. Uh, today is going to be uh, hot again. It was uh, turning hot already yesterday. Today is going to be hot. There, there is an isolated thunderstorm chance for mainly northeast PA. As we get over the NAM high res future simulated radar and we're starting this off at 5 o'clock, you can see a little bit of a broken just pop-up storms here. It's mostly going to be across New York State, but there is the opportunity for parts of Northeast PA to get in some thunderstorms late. I don't think it really gets too far uh, south of there. This kind of dies out once we get past sunset. So mainly Northeast PA, late day isolated thunderstorm is all you're dealing with today. I wouldn't be surprised if that snuck into northern New Jersey a little bit, at least the northwestern portions of northern New Jersey. But other than that, I think we're okay. Uh, then we, uh, we're we going to be hot today. For some areas, it's going to be the first day of the heat wave starting officially, uh, which will be down here by Philadelphia, I think. Those areas down there will hit 90. The rest of us upper 80s to near 90. So uh, we'll be a close call. It's going to be hot regardless. Uh, and it's going to remain that way for the next couple of days. And I think Thursday and Friday, most areas are going to hit 90 except for across the cooler spots across the Poconos and northern areas here. So as so we progress through this, uh, here is Thursday, mostly sunny uh, today, mostly sunny tomorrow. And then Friday should be a partly cloudy day. Uh, the good, the only good thing about all of this is it looks like the humidity is going to be the lower side both today and tomorrow. So the winds out of the northwest, not too bad as far as humidity is concerned. So he, although it's going to be hot, it's not going to be oppressively hot. Once we get to Friday, it's going to creep up a little bit, but still not crazy. It's going to be like moderate uh, levels here on Friday as winds turn more westerly. But I think that's also your hottest day. Your temperatures in Philadelphia for our forecast high for Philadelphia is 94 on Friday. So it's going to be very hot uh, across uh, most locations here on Friday. And here's what the uh, here's what most models are suggesting it is going to be here for uh, for the end of the week here on Friday. So again, the interior is going to be like upper 80s to near 90, right around the 90 degree mark. Uh, and these models like to underestimate the temperatures a little bit. Yesterday, they only had these uh, temperatures being 86 and some areas were 88, 89. So uh, if it's saying 88, 89, you can probably count on 90 degrees. So Reading to Allentown up into northern New Jersey. Now the areas right along I-95 and the I-95 corridor here are going to be in that heat island uh, nearest the uh, metro areas of Philadelphia, Newark, Baltimore, Washington, places like that will get well into the 90s, and I think you're going to get uh, 94, 95-ish in those areas because of that heat island effect. So keep that in mind. Uh, humidity is going to be a little bit higher at the end of the week. It won't be crazy, but I can see heat, heat index values reaching 100 or close to it in these areas specifically. So might be some heat advisors in the week uh, forthcoming from the National Weather Service. We shall see. Uh, as we get later in the day here on Friday, there's an isolated thunderstorm chance. This uh, GFS is a little bit more enthused than some of the other models here, but we just put an isolated chance here for most areas, except Northeast PA. It'll be a little more scattered late in the day. This is all ahead of a cold front that's way back here. Uh, this is prefrontal stuff, and then the actual cold front comes through here on on Saturday, it looks like. And here's, uh, here's later Saturday. More scattered showers and thunderstorms late in the day. So most of the day is dry. It's hot. Then the cold front comes through, and this is what it looks like here on Sunday. Uh, after that uh, moves through, it moves off to the south, and we're not dealing with any precipitation any longer. So, so uh, Sunday turns partly cloudy, and um, you might have an early shower in our southern areas here until that clears completely. But it will be cooler 
not cool, but cooler than not as in not 90s uh, on on uh, Sunday. So getting back into the middle 80s or thereabout for highs on on Sunday remains that way on Monday. Monday is going to be a mostly sunny day. Tuesday is also mostly sunny, but we're going to start to increase the temperatures a little bit, and we're going to be in, in the upper 80s near 90 again by Tuesday, but also mostly sunny. So uh, for as far as precipitation goes, we talked about this in the previous video, taking a step back in precipitation finally, uh, and we have uh, just a few fronts here and there to deal with, but they're few and far in between, and kind of late-day thunderstormish stuff here, maybe a little bit, some areas on Friday, not all, but some on Friday, more isolated, and a little bit more scattered on, on Saturday late in the day again after a the entire day is dry prior. So uh, overall, not a big deal with the precipitation this week. And definitely the theme of uh, the number one headline this week is going to be the heat, which in some places will turn into a heat wave, especially down here by uh, the urban areas of New Newark down to Philadelphia and down to Baltimore and the Washington area. So those areas here, I think, will uh, classify as a heat wave, which is technically three or more consecutive days of 90 degrees or higher. So there, I think it's a, a, just about a slam dunk. Further inland, it could have that in places like Reading and Allentown. Uh, we'll see Harrisburg for the Northwest, Northeast PA, probably not going to see that, but uh, we will have plenty of opportunities this summer. It is only June after all, and we have uh, plenty of summer to go. I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is our outlook for June 26, 2019. Have a great Wednesday.